named captain, the 16th captain of that franchise. I believe that he deserves it. He um, betted on himself. He hit 62, and he got what he thinks he deserved. I saw the press conference. Hank, Hank Steinbrenner, that's the son. How, how, how. How, how. Hal Steinbrenner was very ecstatic about what's going on. They got their guy run Rodon. Um, a lot of good things happening for New York, the New York, the New York uh, Yankees. Now, my question is, before we indulge a little bit in, on that topic in the New York Yankees, who has the better rotation, the Mets or the Yankees? Go ahead, Doug. All right, so I had this conversation the other day. So I think one and two starter, your one and two, I think the Mets have a better one and two combination than the Yankees. I think um, Rodon did get paid handsomely, but he had one good year. Thank you. You, you said look, that. Thank if you look you at that. it, he's had one good year. Thank the you. other years, he's he not as hurt, consistent. And he not as consistent, hurt. right. One good year was with who? With Chicago White Sox or the... No, no San Francisco. Last year. last year was his best year, career-wise. And he's been in the league for three, four years. He's been at least since 18, I think. Yeah. So you say one and two, the Mets? One and two, Mets got it. I'm like, they have the best one and two combination. If you had a three-game playoff series, the Mets will have a higher chance of winning that series with those one and two. Yeah, but but, sure even though they're old, but... But the Yankees three to five, in my opinion, are better than the Mets three to five. Well, well, yes, because like I said, baseball is a what have you done for me lately. We don't know what Kodai Senga, how he's going to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't know how he's going to come. So I, major give, leagues. I give Cortez the edge right now over Senga because Senga's going to be our number three guy. Because we don't know. We, we haven't seen the guy play in Major League Baseball. Right. Then number four, Severino. Severino's coming back from an, a Tommy John, two years removed, where I feel like this year is going to be his best year because I feel like, you know, as a player, as an athlete, you need time to, to your body to get back into the rhythm, muscle memory. You start doing everything. So, like, this offseason – I know he's going to train hard and try to prove that he's that guy still. And he could be a, a number one, even though they got Kyra Cole. Um, so, yeah, I give the edge to the Yankees on that part because we got Quintana. Mm -hmm. Quintana's on the decline a little bit. He did pretty good with Cle um, Cardinal right. last year. He did, he did. But Trevor was younger, throws harder, has better mechanics, better pitching, better stuff. And then with Carrasco, Carrasco is, he's pitching, don't get me wrong. He's, he's mixing it up. But um, I give it to um, Frankie Montes. Frankie Montes, yeah. He just need, Montes just needs to be consistent. Montes. Montes just needs to be consistent. That guy's big. He was a beast in Oakland, thrown hard, had a nasty changeup. He lost it a little bit last year, maybe getting adjusted to the New York City life. You know, there's some things outside of baseball as a Dominican in New York. Frankie Montes, right? Eh? Yeah, Frankie Montes. So maybe, you know, get his head right. And the Yankees have potential. They could be a better rotation, like that was saying, in all. Compared to the Mets this I year. think they're, one, they're up there. They, one A, one B in rotation. It's all going to come down to what rotation stays healthy. Because we all know, right. arguably, arguably, our one and two this past season was great until injury started playing a factor. Right. You can only throw 100 miles per hour for so long. Take up the ground, you know? That's not something that is going to last as far as longevity. And I hope that the uh, Texas Rangers know that for the past five years, the ground has been injured, injury prone, I should say, right? Right. Now, Garrett Cole is another flamethrower, right? Where we see that he relies heavily on his fastball. It is, it is the American League, but the fastball, 100 miles per hour, is, is getting tater totter nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. Moving on to the judge topic. Moving on to the judge. Does he deserve that 360? 360. 360, Daryl. Aaron Judge? Yes. 360. I would have given him 50, but he's too old. How much? I would have given him 50 a year, but he's too old. Let's say he's 27, 28. Aaron Judge would have got 400 for 10. I'm sorry. Not 400 for 10. 450 for 10. 45. So the age played a factor. For right, sure. definitely. I'm going to say this, though. Shout out to Aaron Judge and his agent. Yo. Because they played the field perfectly. perfectly. They That's free agency. I, honestly, if... Agents out there, if there's a model, if there's a class you have to teach, this is the perfect off season for a free agent. I've never seen something like this where they play the field perfect. Who's his agent? Boris? No, no, no Boris. it's not Boris. He has uh, another guy. I um, I was actually researching the name. I can look it up really quick. Um, but yeah, it's not Boris. Surprisingly, surprisingly, because that was a that was a great deal. 
I don't think he deserves the 360. I want to give him 330 on there. No, what? He got 360. Honestly, Aaron Judge is the heart and soul of the Yankees. But he's Without injury prone. Aaron, he's, he's injury prone. I say he's the same as Carrera. Carrera, you know, had that beginning time where he was injured like almost yeah. the first two, three years. Right. Same with Aaron Judge. I think Aaron Judge had two solid seasons previous mm-hmm. to this one. Mm-hmm. But um, he's the heart and soul of the Yankees. Without Aaron Judge and the Yankees, the Yankees are not as good as they I are. agree on that. I agree on that. The way that guy carries himself, the poise. He reminds me of a Jeter on steroids, basically. Like, you, there's no emotion out of the guy as far as when he strikes out, as far as when they lose. And he's always looking on to the positive uh, way of thinking, and he is carrying that team. He carried the, the Yankees last year for a good part of the season. The whole season. 62. The whole season, basically, he carried them. So props Paige to Odell. 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 Props to Aaron Judge and H. Odell or Ogle, whatever his name is. Paige, Paige, Paige. It could be a woman. Right. Um, $360 million for the next nine years, he got maybe. Paid. And there's no opt out, or is there? No opt out, no trade. He got a full no trade clause. So he's going to. He's, he's, he's a Yankee. For Yankee. Life. He's going to finish a Yankee for the next uh, nine years. Let's see how. How many of those years will pan out positively for the Yankees and for Judge? Age plays a factor. I have not seen anybody yet to play out a whole nine or ten year contract and to still be performing. Not knocking him, not saying he can't do it. I just haven't seen it yet. Right? Now, the fucking Red Sox. Kein Bloom, Shine, Hein Bloom, get the hell out of there. Because the team is being destroyed. We have Bogarts the San Diego Padres, J.D. Martinez, I really felt that one to the Dodgers, uh, reuniting with Mookie Betts. Um, Christian Vasquez is out the door. We just, I say we, because I'm also a Red Sox fan. I was born in Massachusetts. The Red Sox just signed uh, Turner, Tra- uh, not Tra- Justin, Turner. Justin Turner. I don't know if he's going to play DH. I don't know if he's going to play first base. I don't know what the hell he's going to do. We still have Devers there. What is the foreseeable future for the Red Sox? When I say foreseeable, I'll say that for the next two years. For me, I think my biggest complaint the last two, three years for the Red Sox was the bullpen. The bullpen was disgusting. It was terrible. Probably one of the worst bullpens I've ever seen in my entire life. Jesus. But Bloom did everything he could to repair it, and I feel like it's a restored bullpen. It's a pretty solid bullpen, I think. Oh, what's the, what's the closer? Kenley, Kenley Jansen. Jansen. They signed Kenley Jansen, they signed Chris Martin, and they got um, Joely Rodriguez. Joely Rodriguez. Um, from the Mets? From the Mets. Mets. Yeah, he did. They did Left they did. it from the Mets. I think he did a great part on that to address that. I think that was their biggest need. He did fumble the bag on Bogarts, but I'm on the, you know, I'm, on, I'm playing both sides to it. I'm not giving Bogarts that contract. That contract for me is outrageous. out of this world, yeah. For his age. How I mean, old is Bogarts? It's like 30, 31. 11 years? 11 I'm years, 41. I said his market was probably 200, 215, nine, nine, ten years. Nine years, nine years. I would have gave him 250. Just 250. Because I, of his past home grown, performance. Yeah, home he's, grown, above, he's above 25 a million, uh, million a year. Homegrown talent, 20, uh, two, 250, courtesy. Well, there's two things that the Red Sox and Nationals have in common. They can really, really develop players and then let them go. Bryce Harper left. Juan Soto Turner. left. Trey Turner left. Right? But you gotta, you gotta remember, most of those guys were dealt away because they want to rebuild. They want to rebuild. Because unfortunately now, the way um, front offices are running baseball teams, they're trying to play money ball. Where, like you said, they develop players from within, they win, and then they just clear house. Pretty much like the Florida Marlins did in 97 when they won a chip. They cleared everybody out. Al Leiter, um, Ivan Rodriguez, not Ivan Rodriguez, I'm sorry. We Ivan just had Hernandez. an episode on that. Comparing um, the, Mar- the Marlins and the Red Sox. They let go of everybody. Gary Sheffield's on that team. Al Leiter, I'm saying again. I think Cliff Foy was on that team in 97, mm-hmm. um, way back when. Um, a lot of guys. And they let them go. And then they rebuilt, again, with homegrown talent. Josh Beckett, Dontrell Willis, Miguel Cabrera. And they you, had, you had Mike Lowe. You had Jeff Conan, whatever. They were like... Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo. Luis Gonzalez. Um, but yet again, they rebuilt... Alex, Alex Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Alex Shortstop. Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. But yet again, they rebuilt from within one... And everybody went their separate ways. Of course, they kept Cabrera around, but then Hanley came up, and then it was like, all right, we got another star. We get out of here. What I'm about to say is a little controversial because I'm going to reference the great Michael Jordan, where this is a whole different sport, basketball. But he went through it where after they won their fifth ring, front office said, 
That's it. This is the last year you guys are together. The last gonna, dance. The last dance. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, reconstruct this team. And Michael Jordan is like, if we're winning, why the hell would you even think about reconstructing the team? Right. If we're winning, if, and now if we weren't winning together, then okay, uh, that there's a case for that. The Red Sox would have had a beast ass team. If Betts were there, J.D. Martinez were there. Oh, no, if we would have had the same team from 2018, they probably could have won multiple championships. Now, the money. That's the I thing. don't think we would have won multiple championships. I no. think it's hard now in baseball to win two times the same team. 2019 could have been a... Uh, Say that to the Astros. No, the Astros is more consistent. The Astros, what they do, what I like that they do is players do leave, but they have that next player ready to step in and fill those shoes and perform. Hashtag Jeremy Pena. We called it here. I called it here before anything. If my team is rebuilding, I would want them to model them after a team like the Astros, a team like the Dodgers, who they find within and they plug guys in and they fit the culture. But I think the Red Sox, they lack in that aspect of they don't know how to draft, in my opinion. And if they do draft well, the development is not all that great. Like, for example, like Jeter Downs was supposed to be a high talent, high shortstop. Talent, shortstop prospect. They let him go. Um, and uh, Nationals just picked him up today off waivers. Mm -hmm. So, listen, I called it here. I see him maybe playing second. Um, they got um, C.J. Abrams from the Padres straight. Beautiful. I like that up the middle. Um, speedy guys, quick. Um, hopefully it pans out. I mean, the NL is a stack. You got the Mets, you got the Braves. The Braves the are... The Phillies. The, Bra the Phillies bought everybody that they, like... That they could. They got, they got Walker. <laughs> Tywin one? Walker. They got, it's all right, Twitter. <laughs> they got Ron Muta, who I think is the best catcher in baseball. Yeah. They just signed Trey Turner. He's top three shortstop right now. Um, Bryce Harper, Reese Hoskins. Their team is better. Um, hopefully, you know, this year coming up is competitive. The Mets supposedly on paper have the best lineup right now. Mm -hmm. One through nine. Um, one through nine. Yeah. What do you got to say about that? And I'm saying about the Braves. The Braves pretty much are gonna be competitive like they've always been for I'm 28 years old and I've never seen the player the Braves out of the playoffs maybe one year maybe one year that's true but they're, they're, always the they're always in the playoffs they're always winning the division and like we had a little moment where the Nationals try to like overtake the NL East mm -hmm. and now you got the Phillies last year they went on like a little crazy run but I feel like the Braves the NL East is the Braves to lose that what does sense? that tell you right there you, you bring up a good point and I'm going to say this to add on to that not necessarily does Big contracts, mega million dollar contracts guarantee you a ring. If you look at the Astros, the way they build their franchise, their dynasty, the highest paid player on the Astros is Jose Altuve, who signed a $200 million contract. When was it? Like, like five, ago. four years ago, right? Not necessarily do you have to understand or think that buying everybody, all the top players, is going to guarantee you a ring. No, if you look at, if you look at the Atlanta Braves, you bring, you bring a good point. Right, they just got extensions. They just got extensions and they, bro, their payroll next year is $80 million for all their players as far as per year mm -hmm. goes. Their home We're paying out. $80 million for Scherzer and Verlander. Bunch of old guys. Bunch of old guys. So, I think it comes down from, it comes down to how franchises, teams develop their players because, like Darryl said, one guy left, Carlos Correa left, Jeremy Pena was brought in, he was ready for the, for the action, he was ready for the stage. So, I get it, if you have the money, go ahead. But that doesn't always guarantee a World Series. Hashtag Cohen, but we're praying for the best. Good. <laughs> Anything else, guys? What, what, sleeper team, sleeper team, this off season. Astros. Astros. They just won the World Series. I feel like they just got better. Jose Abreu. Damn. Jose Abreu. They yes. lose Verlander, but they have a guy who's exactly like him. And Hunter Brown is ready to step up. Really? Yeah. McCullough played a, a, a very important role this offseason. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this um, World Series. World Series. He still got about those. Mm-hmm. Who was the most consistent player? Luis Garcia, who had an ex amazing postseason last year. Valdez, the Christian. Pitcher. Uh, Christian um, Javier. Christian Javier. Bro, don't forget about Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. Jordan Alvarez, right? Mm -hmm. That guy's a fucking beast. I got... The Blue Jays, I feel like the Blue Jays are going to are gonna do something, even though they lost to Oscar Hernandez. I got Seattle. 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 Seattle
Seattle. Ooh, I like man. Seattle. Well, I like that. I like that right there. I like Seattle, Seattle as, an, as, a, as a team to to win over 100 games this upcoming season. Yeah. Um, yeah, win over 100 games and, and, and at least contend for, for a chance for the pennant. They games. made it to the playoffs with the with the team they had. It was a good team though. But a hundred games? They could win a hundred games. Or they have Luis Castillo. I mean I it's pretty cool. What they got like ninety four last year? They won like ninety four games, yeah. I'm not now, winning a hundred. Guys, over hundred. You said that you would if Judge weren't the AG is, you would have gave him fifty million dollars a year. Okay. No problem. He got forty million dollars a year. What is Soto gonna get? What is Vladdy Jr. gonna get? Well, Soto's gonna get probably forty a year as well. 40, 42, He's young. I say next all season. Soto's forty five. Yeah. Next all season, he's guaranteed a four hundred million dollar at least. He 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 um no, he's not he, a free agent until 20, he tur- 20, after twenty four. He turned down a four hundred million dollar contract this season. Okay. Didn't he turn down a four hundred million dollars? Yeah, but also in the Nationals though. But I mean, damn, you can tell he wants to win. That's Bro. because he knew the Nationals. I told you already. He knew the Nationals wanted to rebuild. He wasn't trying to be part of the rebuild. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. What, if, what are you going to give Lottie? Lottie Jr., I'll give him 260. What? He's definitely 300 or more. He's worth 350. 350? Yeah. 350. I don't know. For 10 years, 35 a year. You guys heard it here first. Now, my last question. Uh, he has to, I think he has to improve. On what? what? He had a great season on what? two years ago. He's a gold glover. He I mean, had a great one to go glove. Just won a gold glove. He has to improve. I I like, what? Almost won a che- almost won MVP on his offensive numbers wait, the year before. Wait, wait, and then wait, 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 wait. So he already has the bat in 2021, right? He can prove he can hit. And hit for average. Not just hit for power, right? He can hit for average. And then he comes back the next year. Doesn't have the, yeah. off- the offensive numbers, but wins a go glove. He so, had decent offensive so, numbers. Right. He, he didn't re- he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't live not, up to his not average judge number, but he had 30 plus home runs. He didn't live up to his prior year. Wait, but I'm talking to saying. you, but I'm talking to Dow. I'm looking at you, but I'm talking to Dow. Go ahead. So what else does he need to improve on? If if, if I'm already hitting like a, a beast, and now I got the go glove to prove that I'm the best in my position, hitting and offensively, what what else? You want to start pitching? It's the consistency. You, you want to start pitching? Is is the consistency? He's been consistent two years in a row. It's the consistency. Bobby, consistent. 300, Bobby. Those three hundred million dollar players, they're all consistent. They're all consistent in their game. I say about him. I give him. What's your free agent? When's he a free agent? I'll check. In like, like three check. years. While he checks that, he has why that time the, to improve though. Why the hell? What's happening with the Devers contract? The guy's only twenty six. Ever since he stepped in to the major leagues, he's, he's been virtually a 300 hitter. On top of that, on top of that, he's hit, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say he's hit 30 home runs every year. He's been close to. Yes. Three more years. Three more years. Lighty has three more years under control. Okay. So he'll be 25 when he becomes a free agent. So you're telling me that, you're telling me that Julio Rodriguez deserves the, the contract. He they deserved, can, he deserved can, the contract. He deserved to get locked in without even playing one yes. year of yeah. baseball. Yeah. And Vladdy, and Vladdy doesn't deserve that. Wait, Vladdy, not Soto. Vladdy. Well, that's his front offices, bro. They did it. They did, oh. it, they did it for Elo Jimenez. They did it for Luis Robert. They did it for Acuna. They did it for Vladdy's better than Elo Jimenez. Vladdy is better than Elo Jimenez. He's better than Luis Robert. Acuna, I think he's a better hitter than Acuna. They did it for Tatis. He's yeah. more consistent than Tatis. What? What? It's what? like he says, the organization. Bueno, compadre. These organizations have me be, 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 bewildered because Devers, man, Devers should have been locked down. Yo, Devers is somebody you would build around. I would build around Devers any day. Roddy, I would build around him any day. What are these organizations waiting for? The Yankees are somebody that are just waiting for somebody to slip up. Hashtag the Mets. Listen. Listen. The thing with Boston is they're also, like I said, they're playing that style of baseball now. They're running the team the way really both beat. teams. Right. No, I don't think so. Yeah, man. They're rebuilding. They're going to sell the team. I think that's the, that's the, the what way they're going to sell the, the team. Shape, that's how it's looking. Overall, what's the, what's the rest of the owner's name? It's a group. It's a friendly sports show. It's John Henry. LeBron. Uh, Tom Warner. LeBron. LeBron. <laughs> LeBron owns Boston? Yeah, he LeBron does. He LeBron does. They, he does. They want to expand, so they, they own... Liverpool. Liverpool's on sale now, which is a soccer team in Europe. One of the best. The Red Sox own Liverpool? Yeah. The group, again. The, the group. group. It's an investment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And um, they just bought the Pittsburgh Penguins, a hockey team. 
And the NBA is about six grand in a couple of years, so they're looking into buying an NBA team. So I feel like they're gearing up to sell the team. That's the way it's looking overall. You keep the, the margins low, the profits high, and it makes it for a good sale. So whoever comes in and buys it, you know, you have a good profit, you got a good profit. I'm on the business side, I'm on the baseball side. They're gonna be built. Devers is gonna play out. There's no rebuilding. On paper, it's a, it's a solid team right now on paper. Hey, yeah, what? What? No, no. Who's your starting catcher? Oh, baby, 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 but who would you rather have though? You'd rather have him or Gary Sanchez? Gary Sanchez! Christian Vasquez! Gary Sanchez can't catch. At all. He can't, bro. He can't. At all. I'm sorry. Defensively? Garbage. Bro, but that's that's Garbage. a catcher though. Nah. That's a Dominican Republic's WBC catcher though. He can't catch. What are you talking about? You, uh, where, you gonna, where are you going to leave Pedro Severino at? Keep injecting HGH. That's why he got suspended last year. Yeah, that's last year. But moving on. First base, you got an upcoming rookie who needs space to develop. What happened to Dahlbeck? Dahlbeck? What happened to Dahlbeck? Lost his spot. To so whom? To Tristan Cassis. Another prospect. Second base. We're looking for a second baseman right now. Shortstop Trevor yeah. Story. Hashtag John Segura. No, what's the other guy? Number 39. Oh, uh, Christian Oreo. There you go. I don't like Christian Oreo. Solid player. That's solid. a second baseman. That's a solid guy. On opening day. Send that nigga to the Orioles. On opening day, that's a second S baseman. S send him to the Orioles. The center field is going to be Kiki Hernandez. Ah. The center field is going to be um, um, uh, Masataka. No, the nigga Yoshida. Duran. The nigga Duran. Nah. We got the, the, the dude from Japan. We just signed. Oh, yeah. So Duran's yeah, going to yeah. be in right field. Because we're going to go right field. There's a, there's a Japanese. Devers. We don't know. We don't know. Solid bullpen. On paper, it's a solid team. Now, I'm, I'm not saying, saying they're going to win the championship. They're going to win the championship. I'm not saying they're going to be... Are they going to be competitive? Over 70 wins? With that team? Over 70 wins, yeah. On paper right now, over 70 wins, yeah. That doesn't sound like a Red Sox Nation team, bro. We were doing 85 and up for the last five years. 70 win team? We sound like the fucking Marlins. No offense to the Marlins. Looking at the team, though, overall. Solid team. 70 wins for sure. All right. Oh, sleeper team, Milwaukee Brewers. Mm. Why? They got Contreras. That was their whole. They still got their pitching. They got Peralta, Boy, Burns, and Woodruff. That's their big three. Jesse Winker. Now they got Jesse Winker. Now you guys know that your boy is good on predictions, right? I'm good on predictions. We're gonna have to go back to videos, but all right, go ahead. We'll go back to videos. Like if you haven't been here for two years, anyway. I predict. That Fernando Tatis Jr. does not end this year with the San Diego, San Diego Padres. Padres. I predict that by the trade deadline, he's somewhere else. Hashtag Yankees. Breaking news Fernando Tatis hits 220 next year with 17 home runs. What the fuck? And he ends up getting traded. He gets, I think he gets traded. Is there a, is there a trade clause on that contract? There's not a trade cost, but I, it's not an easy contract to move. But it's, yeah, too much money invested, bro. Too much so money. So what? He's a fucking, he's a beast of a player. But I mean, if he's hitting 220 with what, 17 or what said? No, I'm joking. He, he, I hope he comes back and has a good year next, next year so that he can prove to people like, all right, I messed up, but I'm still who, the, who, I, who I'm projected to be. He was just in the club. No, 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 let him out, let him out. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> let him go, let him go. All right, guys, this is all for the episode today. You got all the insights of Major League Baseball, of what's happening. Baseball, oh baseball, we can't get enough. This is Barrel of Podcast. It's been a pleasure. We'll be back. And the boys are back. The boys are back in town. The Yankees lose. Wait, 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 wait. But let them know where we at, though. We here. We barreled up. But we're in Barrel of Podcast, baby. We're in Barrel of Baseball Play Development of Facility. My boys are here. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Barrel of Podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Barrel of underscore podcast. That's the new page. And also, any promote, baseball players. Right, promote the business. That's what I'm any saying. Any baseball players. Uh, we have two teams upcoming for this uh, summer, summer, spring, summer, and fall season. We have our 13U team. The trials will be January 21st and 22nd. And we have our 15U, 15U team. So 14 and 15, 12 and 13 teams for the summer. You already know. Anybody in the Bronx, Yonkers, Westchester County. Um, Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn, the trainers right here. We got the two train up the block. The five. We'll end the, end the five. 
My man, cameraman man said after the, after like 12 o'clock it runs. Um, we have the Metro North. Metro North. You could game. There's no excuses. If you 655, want it, pull up. East 233rd Street. We're in the hood, across the street at the Dominican Food. You already know. We got the Montefiore. And at the end of the day, the Yankees lose. Shout out to Barrelow Podcast. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to you. A la morita. A tu sabes.